afternoon, the national news from BGI TV Currents. President Tinobu to embark on first official overseas trip to France. Federal government labor resume talks on subsidy removal. I was poisoned at PDP secretariat's my liver kidney shut down wiki. And on sports of Simmons cause brace as Nigeria beats Sierra Leone. Now the news in detail. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is set to make his first official trip as the Nigerian president. Information report that he will be attending the Global Finance Impact Summit in France next week. According to sources, the visit will provide Tinubu with an opportunity for him to consult with his team of medical professionals. While there are speculations that the purpose of the trip is related to the president's health, these claims have not been officially substantiated. This upcoming trip to Paris, France marks President Tinubu's first official journey outside Nigeria since assuming office. It also presents an occasion for him to attend the Global Finance Impact Summit, a source reported. The source further added the trip serves as a dual purpose, as it is also to enable the president to address any health concern. It can be seen as a strategic move to seek medical attention. Until an official confirmation is made, the report regarding the president's medical treatment is in France remain unverified. Federal government representatives and labor leaders will today resume talks on petrol subsidy removal palliatives. It was confirmed yesterday. Both parties are expected to harmonize some of the demands put forward by the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, and Trade Union Congress, TUC. According to the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Labor and Employment, Kachalum Daju, the parties will reconvene at the presidential villa, Abuja, at 4 p.m. today. When contacted yesterday, the Permanent Secretary said, yes, the meeting will hold today at the presidential villa. On June 5, the organized labor announced the suspension of its planned strike over the removal of subsidy on petroleum by the federal government. The NLC served a strike notice the day after President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu declared in his inauguration speech an address that fuel subsidy is gone. The president's speech triggered a knee-jack reaction from the petrol marketers who immediately hiked petrol price at filling stations. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited and NPCL subsequently released a price template for the pump price of petrol for its outlets stations nationwide. To avoid a strike, the government invited labor leaders for dialogue on the way forward. In the course of negotiations, the labor center tendered its demand to cushion the effects in pump price increase. One of the demands was an increase in minimum wage for workers to 200,000 naira. In response, the government's team agreed to consider the demand put forward by the organized labor. Both sides agreed to resume talks on the demand this week. From that union story, we'll go to the next one. Former Governor Yeson Wiki of River State on Sunday disclosed that he was poisoned at the Secretariat of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in 2018. Wiki said the poison affected his liver and kidneys, adding that it almost killed him but for God's intervention. He disclosed this during a special Thanksgiving service organized by his family at the St. Peter's Deanery, Rumo Wikirikom, or Biwako, area of the state. The former governor said he was flown to Beirut at midnight, where doctors informed him that his liver and kidneys were gone. According to Wiki, after attending to him, the doctors informed him that the organs were working again. He said the doctors discharged him after about a week and asked him to return home, nothing that he altered his itinerary during the campaign for his second term. The former governor said everybody became a suspect as he decided that he would not enter any party's leader's home during the course of his campaign. Now, written how he almost died of poisoning, Wiki said God was in charge. Everybody who knew how we came to in power in 2015 knew it was turbulent. But God saw us through. When you are in office, many people think things are going well with you. Nobody wants to find out the problems you are facing as a human. In December 2018, it was the day my former chief of staff was going to have Thanksgiving. I was to attend that Thanksgiving. From that Sunday on, I never came down from my room. It was bad. We'll go to the next story. 
The chief imam of Uso community in Owo, local government area of Ondo State, Alaji Ibrahim Onyilade, has been abducted. He was kidnapped on Saturday evening by unknown gunmen. The chief imam was abducted while working on his farm at a solo camp within the community. According to a family source, the kidnappers contacted the family's victim shortly after the incident but have not yet demanded any money. The source, which created anonymity, disclosed that the family was contacted shortly after they kidnapped him. They told the family that he was with them, but they didn't demand any money yet. The incident has happened, has been reported to the police division and the police and vigilante groups are currently searching for the victim in the bush. DSD Formulaio Odolami, the state police public relations officer, confirmed the incident. She said at around 6 p.m. on Saturday, a report was made at the divisional headquarters that the chief imam went to his farm in the morning and did not return. He was later traced to the farm by his people who saw his phone and his vehicle intact but couldn't find the man himself. The DPO and his men with local vigilantes are currently in the bush to trace and rescue the chief imam. From that story from Bondo, we go to the sports story that ends today's national day. Two goals from Victor Osime has helped Super Eagles defeat Syria Don 3-2 to qualify for the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations happen with one game to spare. The third goal for Nigeria in the game played at the Samuel Canyon Doll Stadium in Barovia, Liberia, on Sunday was scored by Kelechi Ienacho. The Eagles started the game on the front foot and their pressure paid off in the 19th minute after the Polish striker Osime made the long ball and lowered over the on Russian serial loan goalkeeper who watched helplessly as the ball went into his net. Joe Aribo sent a beautiful true ball to Osime in the 32nd minute and the striker backed his brace to put Nigeria two goals off. The Eagles went napping just before half time and were punished by the Lone Stars who got one goal back to make the scoreline 2 1 after the first half finished. The Lone Stars kept piling on the pressure and it paid off as Augustus Cabo leveled the scoreline in the 84th minute. However, the Eagles sealed the victory in the added minute after Sayyid Sinusi ran through the opposition defense to set up Kelechi Ienacho, who tapped in Nigeria's third goal. Nigeria now topped the group with 12 points from 5 games, followed by Guinea Bissau with 10 points. With a sports story, we end today's national news from BGI TV. Before we go, some headlines. President Tinubu to embark on first official three overseas to France. Federal government, they all resume talks on subsidy removal today. I was poisoned at PDP Secretariat, Wiki. And on sport, Osimis calls brace as Nigeria beats Sierra Leone to qualify for AFCON this year. For more updates of our broadcast on YouTube, our handle is BGI TV Current. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can all to access all of our broadcasts. On Please like and follow the page. Thank you for watching. I am Kumuri Renila Lawa. Good afternoon.